Hello, this is Bob Brown. I'm going to show you how easy it is to format a book with headers and footers. Uh, on the headers, I want to have the title of the book on one side, the chapter title on the other side, and at the bottom, I have page numbers. And they'd also break between uh, no pages, no numbers, the first couple of pages, and then the um, Roman numerals on the next bunch. When the first chapter starts, I'll start off with normal, everyday uh, numbers uh, throughout the rest of the book. It's actually incredibly easy. It took me a long time to figure out how to do it. Um, and it's amazing how simple it really is. This is my book that I'm working on. It's called The Wounded Hero of Orge 1, Smallest Power Book Across the Atlantic. Uh, it's actually part one of a two-part book. Uh, actually, part one of a, a two-part series, I guess. I'm not sure if they call it a series if there's only two books. Anyway, um, this is uh, the start of the book. There's uh, two blank pages at the beginning. And then I have the title page and then the copyright page. And I want to put a section break right here so that what I do in this section of the book doesn't carry on to the next section of the book. Okay, the first thing I want to do is I want to be able to see what's happening uh, behind the scenes on these pages. So I want to turn on the paragraph uh, marker, I guess hide, hide button or whatever. Anyway, it's under home and it's this button over here looks like a paragraph thing click that and it puts all the paragraph uh, symbols everywhere wherever there's a return in the book and what you have to do is you kind of have to come down to the first paragraph symbol on the following page in order to put your break here and what you want to do is you want to come down and put your cursor on the left side of that I don't even think you can put it on the right no it won't even let you so you have no choice. Put it on the left side. You don't want to highlight it. You just want to put it on the left side of it. And then you want to go up to Page Layout and come over to where the breaks are. Come down to where it says Continuous Break, not Next Page Break. You definitely want to use Continuous Break. That was one of the mistakes that I did early trying to figure out how to do it. If you hit the next page, it gives you the break like you want, but it adds an extra page, which will start throwing things out of whack, so you don't want to bother with anything. You want to click on that, and what that does, it puts a section break right there on the page above this at the bottom. You want it to be at the very end of the page, not a couple of... If by chance you do something wrong and you get it to look like this, all you have to do is add another enter button on your keyboard, and you'll get it down to the bottom. I want to go ahead and insert the page numbers throughout the book. So what I need to do is I need to double click the footer. Okay, after I get to this section here, the first thing I want to do is I want to disable the link to previous to separate this from the previous sections. I click this and that gets rid of that previous link button there. Now I want to tell the computer where on the page I want the number to be and I want the number to be on the bottom center of the book and up to your page numbers okay if you don't see it you're in the wrong section you know um, it's in the design section of headers and footers anyway uh, go to page numbers click that and the first thing you need to do is you need to tell the computer where on the page you want the numbers to go it could be the top that would be in the header bottom would be in the footer and but anyway basically I just gonna pick the bottom and then I'm gonna come over here I want the number to be in the center of the page so I'm gonna click this one a plain number in the center of the page and it's gonna uh, throw the default number one or whatever number that was set in the in the thing to start at so now I want to format this number to a different uh, starting point I want this to be page three not page one so anyway, I come up to page numbers, go ahead to format page numbers, come over here to the top and change this to Roman numerals, and I want this number to be a 3, so I'm going to move it up to 3, hit OK. You just have to move the cursor off to actually see it, um, and then hit uh, OK, and that will change it to 3. Um, I have no numbers on this section here, so what I want to do is I want to come up if, I, if this was all I was going to do, I would come up here and click in the design, make sure this button is turned off so that all the pages are the same, uh, three, four. But since in this book I'm going to actually um, have different headers on both sides, I want to come up here and click this button back on again. So now I have room in with three here and nothing on this side. 
But what I want to do is come over to this page and tell the computer where on this page I want the numbers to be. That's something I didn't know the first time and got me in all kinds of trouble. So I, I put my cursor on this page here, come back to numbers, and come back down to uh, uh, location, which would be over here I'm under, in the center of the bottom. And it puts my cursor there. Now you can see it has three, four, and we'll continue on down. Uh, five six. Now I want to go back up to the top to make sure there's no numbers up here and there is a number here so I can just highlight it I can't now because okay just highlight it and hit delete and that will eliminate any numbers in the first section if there's any number over here do the same thing there so now I'll go back and check first page nothing no numbers second two pages which is the um, the title page and the thing in the copyright page I have no numbers and I come down to the dedication I have three and why did that disappear oh it because I left off an important part when you come down here you want to uh, separate this page from the other page like I said before see I have the same as previous here still pushed still on here so I want to get rid of that so click on the bottom footer on this side hit link to previous click that and I'm going to hit no to this. It's going to ask me if I want to delete the header footer and connect to the header footer of the previous section. I'm just going to hit no. And then I'm going to uh, highlight uh, and go back and tell the page number where to go. And it's going to be in the bottom center. Click that. And there we go. I'm back to again. Three, four. Come up to the top. Double check. There's no numbers up there. Um, so I'm, I'm good. All right, now I want to scroll down to where I want my numbers to actually start again, which is going to be, um, this is all right, uh, the first chapter, lucky the first time, I need to put a, a page break here because I, this is where I want the numbers to actually start being one. Right now it says number, uh, what is that, nine. Um, so what I want to do is I want to put a page break or a section break right up here. So I'm going to come down here. I've got to get back into the... Um, out of the header section to put the breaks in. Okay, um, one thing you have to do uh, when you do that, you have to use close the header and footer button up here. Click this, and what that's going to do is going to put you back to where you started last time on the page, which is back in dedication, where the last time I had this page open. So now I want to scroll back down to um, chapter one. Click on the upper one um, right here. Hit um, Breaks on the page layout, breaks, come on down to continuous, click that, and it's going to put me a, a page break at the bottom of this section here. Now, now I want to tell the computer I want a number right here in this section here. So I double click the footer, highlight that number, come over to page numbers, uh, and then I want to, actually the computer already knows it's here because I've been doing it before there so I can skip this part this step here and go right to format page numbers and here I'm going to come over here and change this to a one uh, actually I don't have to highlight that way I want to go up here and change it to a one here and now it says three I can highlight that and just type in the number one or I could have done it the same way by going up and down on these numbers here uh, to get it to one and then hit OK and it's going to change it to one, two, and now the rest of the book has the numbers all the way down, three, four, all the way up, and the first section is still the way it is. Now I want to come up to the headers and put that in. Uh, the first header I'm going to use is going to be at the beginning of the book, and if I don't want any header in the first uh, section, so I'm going to leave that blank, and I'm going to come down to the this section here. I'm going to start putting um, uh, the title of the book here and actually I don't want to even bother with it there I'm going to start on the dedication page um, I already have a break here but if I did want to start it up here it would be no problem all I have to do is close this hood back out close the footer back out and then come up here to the beginning and I can put a a break right here after the the blank pages I'd click on this side here go back up to page layout go to breaks come down continuous break and then that would put a break there and then I could 
uh, put my footer in here, click, double click this on this side. Uh, I already have it up here showing a different odd and even page because I want a different header on this side and a different header on this side. Uh, this header I'm going to use on the odd pages. I want the title of the book. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pick the location. I'm going to do that. Um, actually, I can just uh, go to home and click on which section I want to be in the center. Click that. Actually, I have to highlight it first. Highlight it and then come up here and click that and it will put it in the center. Then I'm going to go ahead and just type in I type in the title. Now notice it is not on this side here because I have under design I have this button here clicked on which means this page is this odd page is going to be different from the even page and what I want here since this is the beginning of the book the first two pages are going to be blank actually I got something here so what I want to do is I want to I forgot to, to disable the link to previous so I'm going to come back down to this header here okay and then I'm going to come up here and click this link previous. I'm going to hit no here. Just a quick recap. Uh, the important buttons to know is uh, under home, this button here, it turns on the symbols for the paragraphs. And another important thing to know is uh, page layout. By clicking that, you can find your breaks right up here. Also, um, to get to your headers again, you double click in the header section. 